Welcome to Breaking News. My name is Manny. And my name's Chastity. And we are so excited to be here with you for our brand new series called Breaking News, where we look at breaking news from the Old Testament of the Bible, from the prophets, and how Jesus was our final prophet. I'm really excited about it, Manny. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. Should we tell them about new people? Definitely. If you're new, we have been praying for you and your family. We're so excited you're with us, whether you're online or in person. If you are new, please text the word new to the number that appears on the screen. We'd like to send you something. Manny, you wanna tell them about it? Yes, we send out weekly mailers to all of our friends. And you wanna be on that list because we send out fun color sheets, surprises. I don't wanna give it all away, but you wanna be on that list, trust me. Definitely wanna be on that list. Well. We hope you'll join us every week for our series, Breaking News. Until then, signing off. Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Crossing. We're so glad you're here today. I'm Miss Tammy and I wanna welcome you, whether you're watching online or you're here in the room, we're glad you're here. And I wanna be the first to welcome you to our new series called Breaking News, where for five weeks, we're gonna have breaking news about some Old Testament leaders. We'll get to that in just a minute. But first, I've got some breaking news for us here at Kids Crossing. <gasps> and here it is. Sunday, Hope got baptized. For all of us in the room, for all of us watching online, let's take a minute and say, yay! Can you do that with me? Yay! Way to go, Hope! It's such an excellent time. And if you're curious about getting baptized, you can text the number that's gonna come up on the screen and ask us any questions you have about what that is what that means, and when you can do it. Oh, next here in my notes, do you know, breaking news, we have over 300 children that watch us either online or are here in the room, and that is some awesome news. And lastly, hot off the press and reported today, one of the favorite things at Kids Crossing is singing. And you know what, boys and girls? We love to sing. So we're gonna pray and then we're gonna sing. Everybody, let's get ready to talk to God. God, thank you for this day. Thank you that you bring us good news every day and that you are with us and you are for us and you love us. And oh Jesus, we love you too. And we are so excited today to learn more about you and how much you love us. In your name we pray, Jesus, amen. All right, everybody, breaking news is jump up, stand up, and let's take a minute at this commercial break. I'm gonna leave, but you're gonna sing.
Welcome back, everyone. Great job singing. In fact, I didn't even go to commercial break. I love singing to Jesus too, and so thank you. Thank you for doing that. What is that noise I hear? Oh, oh, breaking news, breaking news right now. It's actually our big idea. Here it is. When things go wrong, I can do what's right. Can you say that with me? Breaking news. When things go wrong, I can do what is right. Good job, boys and girls. That's important for us to remember because right now we're gonna cut away in just a second and go to our Chatting with Chastity reporter. But first I wanna tell you a little bit about who she's interviewing today. His name is Micah and he has a book in the Bible all of his own. In the Old Testament, so before Jesus came, Micah was called a prophet. And back in that time, Micah's job says right here was to reveal God's concern and love for Judah as well as Israel. And Micah cared for God's people. He wanted people to know God cares for the poor and he cares for the helpless and God will judge those who mistreat them. He had a very important job. Oh, such a good reminder. Important news. I just let you know that Micah was a prophet in the Old Testament, but right now I'm going to read this to you so you can understand why we don't need a prophet today. Hebrews in the New Testament chapter 1 says, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in many various ways. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. Boys and girls, we live in a time now where Jesus, the Son of God, was the final prophet. However, there are so many great things we can learn. I want to make sure you understand what the prophet's role was back in the Old Testament. Let's cut away to chatting with chastity now. Thank you, Miss Tammy. This is Chatting with Chassie, and I have breaking news from the prophet Micah. Micah's heard something from God, and he's here to share it with us today. Micah, what do you have to share? Well, Chastity, God wants to let us know about some prophets who are leading people in the wrong direction. When they get what they want, they call for peace. But when they don't, they're ready to call for war. Oh my, that sounds like the prophets are pretty much just doing what they want. Am I hearing that right? Indeed, you are. And this is what God has to say about that. Those prophets would soon be unable to hear from God at all because they do as they like instead of following the things God says. But what about you, Micah? Oh, God still spoke to me and used me to share the news because I was willing to tell everyone the hard truths from God. I said, listen up, rulers and leaders in Israel, there is some things that need to change around here. These are those of you who are unfair to people who need your help. Instead, only help people who bribe you with money. If you keep that up, our nation is doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Wow, I really hope those people in Israel listened to you. Some did, and one of the favorite things God had me say was this. Micah told the prophet that God had showed them what was good and told them what he required of them. The people were to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before God. Wow, Micah, those are great words, and I'm so thankful you came on today. I'm also thankful that Jesus is our final prophet, and that we can live life in love and mercy, and we can just know that we're so loved by him. Well, this was Chatting with Chastity, and we'll see you next time. Back to you guys. Thank you, Chastity. What a great interview. Seriously, Micah had a tough job. He had to tell people to stop doing what was wrong and start doing what was right. You know, he probably wasn't very popular at the time. And sometimes today, we want to help people know, stop doing what's wrong and do what's right. But just as we found from Micah, only God's love can help us to do what's right. And so we get the opportunity to be like Micah to be the ones that are sharing God's love with others, to help them to understand how much He loves them and how we can stop doing what's wrong and do what's right. But that kind of reminds me right here of our most important 
big idea of the day. When things go wrong, I can still do what's right. Boys and girls, Micah had to do what was right, even though the people around him were doing what is wrong. What is that noise? Oh, I know that noise. It's time for our Bible verse, and that is right here. Are you ready, boys and girls? The Bible is our truth, and the Bible helps us to know what God wants us to do today. And so just like Micah back then, Today, we're going to follow God's Word, and it's 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, and be strong. Can you say that with me? Let me hear you. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Boys and girls, we need that verse because when we try to stand for what's right and we try to love others and help them to know how God loves them, sometimes it doesn't work out so great. Sometimes they don't want to hear it. Sometimes they still do what is wrong, but we can continue to do what is right. Boys and girls, this reminds me of something that I own. Let me get it out of my pocket here. It's a driver's license, and it has my name, and it has my address, and it has lots of important things about me, and it gives me the privilege of driving a car. And I don't know about you, some of you might have ID right now, maybe you have a school ID, or, or maybe you have a passport because you travel, but it all gives you information and it gives you a privilege, right? But does everybody around you do what's right? No. And when I'm driving my car, even though I have my driver's license and cars are speeding past me and speeding past me and I'm doing the speed limit, but they want to go faster and maybe they're getting angry at me and maybe they're honking their horn, this doesn't give me the opportunity to get mad at them or to go ahead and speed because they are or to do anything wrong. Even though I may be tempted, to think, well, I guess I'll just go a lot faster because they are. Boys and girls, I can do what's right. Even when things are wrong, I can do what's right. And I need to honor that with my driver's license. And we need to honor that together. So boys and girls, the main point today, you've got it. And you remember what Micah said, what Jesus said, and that together, we can be like a prophet, even though Jesus is our final prophet and he's written and lived everything we ever have to know or do, we still get the privilege of sharing God's word. I challenge you to go out and do that this week. And always remember our main point breaking news. Here it comes. When things go wrong, I can do what is right. That's right, boys and girls. I'm proud of you. We love you. And here at this news station, hold on. We want you to know Jesus loves you too. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that you are with us. Thank you for your Bible that teaches us stories from old and your stories that are brand new, fresh to us every day about how you love us and you will help us do what's right even when things are going wrong. Help us to trust you, Jesus, in your name, amen. We will see you next week here at Breaking News.
guard your hearts and minds as you live, as you live, as you live in Christ Jesus. Don't worry, don't stand pray. Don't worry. Pray.